Hey guys, it's Jay and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a review of this Kmart curler. So this Kmart curler you can get for $16. Now that is incredible. Um, if you've watched any of my other reviews or follow me on Instagram, I love to use high-end hair tools. So some of my hair tools can be three, four hundred dollars plus. So a lot different to the sixteen dollar one. So what I want to show you is how does a sixteen dollar one compare to a more higher end? So at the moment you can see my hair is curled. I have gone and straightened this front bit to do this curl with, but this is day two curls when I didn't really put much hairspray in from yesterday. And I just wanted to show you how does it compare to high-end curler. Okay, so the first thing to note is it can actually go to a pretty good temperature and it gives a good guide. So if you look closely, it can actually say um, what temperature and what hair type it's for. So typically you're looking at around 150 degrees, you should be using that on fine hair. And the thicker the hair is, the higher the temperature goes. Using a really hot temperature on really thin hair can be really damaging and really bad. So it's really good that I really like for that basic level, it tells you what type of hair type you should be doing with that te particular temperature. So for this one is 150 for fine hair. I have normal to thick hair, so I am gonna put it up just a little bit extra. So you can see here as I change the temperatures, See, 180, it goes to thick hair, 170 normal, and when you're down to 150, it goes to fine. So I think that's a really good guide, especially if you are starting out. I'm going to just have it at 170, which is a pretty good temperature for my hair type. Now, you can use the curler in many different ways, but to keep it consistent, I'm going to curl it the same way that I curled these curls. So what I did with these curls with my higher end is I just pinched and wrapped around and I just hold it on for about 10 seconds drop them in my hand and what I'm going to do is just let that cool I will show you on then this side how else you can curl with this curling wand so there's heaps of different techniques, especially when you have a clip. Yes, yeah, so I really like this product and it's not just for its price. So one thing I do really like is that it tells the temperature and how fine the hair it should be used on. I think it's just a good thing for us all to know. And sometimes even myself as a professional hairstylist, I can forget. So I think having that there is so good, especially for those beginners. I really like how it also says the recommended time that you can do it on. So for 10 seconds, holding it at that temperature. I think really this is the ultimate hair tool for a beginner. And uh, if you're gonna be gifting this to someone who's just starting to curl their hair for the first time, it really takes a lot of the thinking out of the curling. As well as because it does have the clip, you can do the wraparound method like I did, or the twist and pull, and just a variety of different techniques, which you wouldn't be able to do with a normal barrel without a clip. Another good positive, maybe a negative for some, for me, I personally wouldn't use um, this little edge bit, but what you can do is sit this up and it means it's not going to be burning the bench. However, I always have like a hair tool thing to put my tools in, so it doesn't really affect me, but I think it is really handy. So yeah, I think it is an absolutely amazing tool. I think it's price is unbeatable. And especially I could do a review of all the different Kmart hair tools. I think there are some out there that I would be putting equal to high end tools. And that doesn't come lightly. I am a very fussy hair tool girl. So if you'd like more reviews, I honestly think even if you have high-end tools, I actually take this to bridal hairstyles with me. And I sometimes prefer this one. This is how much I love this curling wand and believe in it. I also take it as my backup curling wand. It is great for thin hair, short hair. The barrel size is really perfect. Um, especially if you take a larger section. So 
Take in mind my hair is already curled from yesterday. But you can create some really beautiful waves. This one, I'll just wrap the whole hair flat around. I honestly reckon you could be doing like 10, 20 different um, tutorials, different curls. Look at that. It is so, if you can see silky, like sometimes when you curl your hair with cheaper ones, one thing you can notice is there might be a bit of steam come off it. Uh, it might have a burning smell. You don't get that. But sometimes it can actually make it frizzier. And if you think about back maybe when you're a young child or um, using those um, really kids version of tools where sometimes you do the curl and you just come up with frizz everywhere. This does not do that. And this is $16, not $500, $300, I think it's three or $400 was the price of the curler I used to curl this hair from yesterday. Guys, you need this tool. I'm just gonna loosen it a little bit. I just loosen it with my hands. You can see already how much of a nice wave that is, which goes with the style I was having. Here I did a thicker curl. It's still a bit hot and normally I'd wait, but just to show you how you can really soften it. A good note also I have is my hair does stay pretty well with curls. It's kind of that middle range. It doesn't fully drop out, but it's not one of those people whose curls will stay forever if they don't hairspray. However, I find that the quality of the curls and how long they last are comparable with this tool compared to high end. So I cannot recommend this tool enough. I think if you do not have a curler, I would recommend this before going to a high end. You've got heaps of extra safety things for when you start off, like having the end as a plastic that doesn't get too hot, having the clip, having this safety, having the guide to the temperatures. I think they're just going to make such a difference when starting out. And if you are a professional and you're like me and you don't want to have your third backup curler as another three, $400 one, this is amazing. I honestly bring this as my backup and sometimes use it as my number one curler. It is incredible. If you have any other hair tools that you would like, both high end and more on that cheaper um, side, please DM me, leave me a comment, and I'll see if I can do a review on it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!